I had mushrooms in my bathroom. Wait, 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 mushrooms growing in the floor of your bathroom? And I had maggots inside the wall, so the wall is crumbling. That's completely ridiculous, and no one should be forced to live under those conditions. Okay, he's looking for a break on the rent, or he just wanted to live there rent-free? I don't know. Let's be honest, there's something wrong with this place. Plaintiff Russell Gardner claims his former tenant took off without paying the rent and left his apartment torn to shreds. He's suing for $3,987. Defendant Tim Bush claims the apartment was a health hazard and that the plaintiff was a negligent landlord. He's countersuing for $5,000 for moving expenses and rent. You're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Najee. This is case number 022 on the docket, Gardner versus Bush. And welcome to both of you. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Let's see what we have here. The plaintiff, Russell Gardner, you are suing the defendant, Tim Bush, for $3,987 for unpaid rent and damages to his apartment. And you, sir, are countersuing for $5,000 for moving expenses and rent. So I own a two-family house uh, that uh, the first floor apartment I was renting out to the defendant. Is there a lease? There is a lease. If you look at uh, exhibit uh, D, he was there for about two years uh, is for him and his son and his daughter. It says you're suing here for three months rent. Yes, he told me that uh, there was a repair uh, with the, uh, the shower in the master bathroom, yeah. there's a leak. Yes. It needed to be caulked. Not everyone deserves to be a landlord, and, and he doesn't, because he's not telling the full truth about what happens. On four separate occasions, I had mushrooms growing out of the tile floor in my bathroom. Were you made aware of that? Well, there was a mushroom that grew. He sent me a picture of it. I said um, some My response was that, okay, let's schedule it. Let's, I want to get the caulking done. And he said, wait. He wanted to wait because he brought in the health department. He wanted them to inspect it, which is fine. When you have mushrooms growing, you don't simply cock over it. You inspect what's causing the mushrooms to grow. Unfortunately, the city does not conduct tests for mold, but they did find other numerous violations. Why do you think they were growing there? I, I, in my I, I, opinion, I, I have, since you I have, asked, I, I think that here. the problem is that you know, there was a leak in the, the shower, yeah. and it had to be repaired. That's what it looked like before. This is what it still continued to look like. The shower was still leaking. If you see the mold in that corner where that mushrooms were growing out of, that's completely ridiculous, and no one should be forced to live under those conditions. Okay. I caulked the shower to stop the leak from the shower onto the floor. Then the problem went away. No, the problem didn't go away. The mushrooms just stopped growing because he caulked over the area where it was growing. I did the repairs in a timely manner. Uh, I acted in good faith. Uh, I can show examples where the defendant did not act in good faith. He was looking for a break on the rent, I assume. It was very intimidating because, I mean, he used to play for the NFL. He's a big guy. Hold on. Who'd you play for? The Steelers, Your Honor. <laughs> Judgment for the play. No, please. <laughs> okay. He hits me with a notice to leave the unit. When did you get the uh, eviction notice or apply to evict him? I consulted a lawyer, and the notice to quit was... October 3rd, Your Honor. Six days after the reinspection. And okay. he hadn't paid September rent. When I asked him about his intention to pay rent, he just yelled at me. I yelled at him very clearly okay. that I was not going to remit rent until I had a mold test performed. The eviction notice was not... It's not for him to move out. It's to get the rent paid. Pay, but it didn't say pay or leave. My lawyer, he, I... He just explained... Yeah, but there is a specific eviction notice where it is conditional upon non-payment of rent. In other words, if you pay the rent, you don't have to leave. That was not what was issued. He was given X amount of days to leave, not you don't have to leave if you pay me September's rent. I'd just like to bring your attention to Exhibit uh, G. It's a letter from the uh, health official. It says nothing about a mushroom. If you look at Exhibit A in the, one of the bathrooms, the vanity cabinet, the medicine cabinet had been removed. It was completely removed from the wall. Now, the picture we're looking at now shows the new mirror that I, I, I had to paint and repair the wall and, and replace it with a new mirror. The reason that medicine cabinet came off the wall is because there's mold throughout the unit. As I have here, pictures of maggots inside the wall. 
So the wall is crumbling. It, it's not like somebody destroyed his property. His property is in disarray. I am seeing from your side that you are entitled to the September rent, the 1895. You have sued for the security deposit. And other costs because I and had to And other move. costs. You are entitled to the security deposit, but the other costs you're suing for, you chose to move, but since, and you were not, in fact, evicted, so therefore, um, I'm awarding no moving expenses. Even though, Your Honor, I had to leave because of the health and safety of my children. I'm not saying you didn't have a motive. I'm just saying it was your decision to move rather than fight it. So I'm not paying for the moving expenses. You're going to wind up paying rent someplace. It turns out you, and you were leaving anyway. But now I'm paying more rent when I didn't. Well, that's, when I do the offset, I find for the defendant $709.